Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back with the Sennheiser AVX on-camera wireless system. This is an awesome wireless system. I just took it out in the field for the first time over the weekend and had a great experience with it. And I wanted to do in this video was show you the differences between the omnidirectional microphone capsule that comes with their stick mic uh, versus the cardioid capsule that you can purchase optionally uh, to give you some better directional sound when you're in noisy environments. And what we're going to do is actually compare the way these two sound uh, in a very noisy environment and that is past East, which is a big video game exposition that took place in Boston over the weekend. It is really noisy in there. Not only do you hear all the voices going on in the convention center there, but you've got video games and booming sound and all this crazy stuff going on. So I was doing interviews in the middle of this uh, and it really worked out quite well. Now I should mention in the interest of full disclosure uh, that the microphone kit came in through the Amazon Vine program free of charge. However, I since purchased a second kit because it is so good. Uh, I was really quite pleased with how everything performs. So I am a customer as well as receiving this through a review program from Amazon. Uh, Sennheiser Sennheiser sent us the uh, cardioid head here free of charge. However, I have no financial relationship with the company. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and nobody reviewed this video before it is posted. These are my standard disclaimers that I do on every video and you can read more about them down below in the video description. So let's get into this comparison. Uh, we are first going to start with the omnidirectional head uh, as we're sitting on the show floor there. So let's hear what that sounds like. All right, here we are with the omnidirectional microphone and uh, this is picking up more of a circular pattern around it, so we're probably going to be hearing a lot more of the ambient sound. Uh, so we'll take a look when we get back in the studio and do the comparison here, but uh, just from looking at my levels, it looks as though this mic is going to pick up a little bit more background noise than the cardioid head will. All right, so you heard some background noise. It, was, it wasn't too bad, actually. I was actually surprised it sounded as good as it did, but the cardioid is better. So let's take a look and hear what the cardioid sounds like. Okay, here we are with the cardioid microphone. It's picking up mostly from the top of the mic here, so when it's in front of my face, uh, you're not going to hear as much background noise from around the show here. And this is a very noisy show. Uh, so this is a really good test to see how the cardioid works. So there you have it. The omnidirectional head actually sounded better than I thought it would in that environment, but the cardioid head was better. Uh, you can check out the interviews that I did above uh, in my little tag up there and also down below in the video description if you want to hear how these really sounded. And one of the things that you'll hear though is I'm kind of loud when I'm talking on the mic because it's so loud around me and uh, the microphone really does filter out a lot of that noise, most of it actually, so I actually kind of sound like I'm screaming. That was kind of the problem that uh, we saw during the 2004 election when Howard Dean had that scream. Uh, you couldn't hear the crowd on his microphone because it was just picking him up and that's what cardioid mics do. So you definitely uh, want to probably adjust your tone while you're talking to people because uh, I, I didn't have headphones on so I couldn't hear how loud I was during those interviews. So I'm going to probably adjust my behavior uh, in future activities to try to match things up. I also wanted to get my video camera out here and just show you uh, how easy it is to work with multiple versions of this at the same time or multiple uh, units at the same time. So my Sony camera here, uh, this is a great little camera by the way. Uh, what's nice is that I can just plug these things in. I don't have to program anything. Yes, my watch took a, a spill the other day courtesy of my three-year-old here. So if you're wondering what happened to it. Um, but what's really nice is you just plug these things into your XLR inputs here. They're adjustable as well. So I have this big thing I can't take off here. So I can just uh, line this up and just snap it in and I've got some uh, room to play with it here and I can take the other one uh, and plug it in over here as well. And these things automatically find the right frequency to operate on. So you don't have to set up channels on your devices. They automatically uh, change channels as time goes on. And I had one interview with, uh, with the uh, Newegg folks, which was with this VR thing. I had the two lav mics that I got with the kits uh, on it. That, that thing both work just fine. Uh, you'd have to repair between the lav mics and the uh, stick mics if you want to switch back and forth. It can only be paired up with one device at a time. But it's so nice just to turn the camera on and have to worry about interference. You can check your headphones before you get started, but uh, there's nothing to set on these things. You can adjust the volume uh, that these output uh, into your system, but you really just plug them in and you're good to go. I have phantom power on this camera, so when the uh, mics detect the phantom power is cut, they shut off automatically also to save power. Um, so they've thought about a lot of the things that a lot of us uh, one-person shows have to think about when we're out in the field. They kind of take away a lot of the worry uh, in trying to get things going, and I was really just totally blown away by how uh, efficient this made my workflow out there because I didn't have to worry about the audio. I knew it was going to work when I turned everything on and just checked my levels before I got started. So really uh, just a great kit. Um, and I would probably suggest if you are doing noisy environments, get two of the stick mics and give it to your talent so you can adjust their audio separately because I did have an issue where I was talking louder than some of the people I 
I was talking to and I had to do some adjustments in post. So I think it might have been easier if we just both held a microphone uh, when we were out there. So I'm probably going to pick up another stick mic uh, while I'm there. But I had no battery issues. I was shooting for probably about an hour or so in total um, and uh, really didn't have too many issues. These batteries don't last as long as the uh, microphone batteries do, but they do charge via USB. So you can get any one of those USB backup batteries you get for your cell phone and just use them for these if you don't have a power source nearby. So again, uh, Sennheiser AVX, I can totally recommend this. This is my go-to kit uh, now when I'm out in the field. It is awesome. And if you're thinking about getting one, uh, definitely uh, give it some thought because even though it is kind of you know, on the expensive side, I think the kits are uh, about $1,200 for the uh, one that comes with the lab and the stick mic. Uh, it really does save yourself a lot of aggravation because if you are being paid to go out and do these kinds of shoots, if you come back with no audio, it's going to cost you a lot more than $1,200 to solve the problem. And uh, these things really uh, make your life a lot easier. This is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.